We had this entire trip planned. We were heading to BC. We even bought the trip board to make flying that much more convenient. And then things changed. <laughs> Our puppy got sick last minute and we agreed with our pet sitters that it just didn't make sense to leave her. So rather than head west, we packed up the puppy and packed up our car and we headed east. So we're coming to you from beautiful Prince Edward Island. We're gonna be reviewing the trip board today. We gotta to put it together and luckily we were able to bring our regular Radical 6 board so we can test it back to back as well. So as you can see, having a dog does make things a little bit more complicated. She's extremely excited. So let's put together the board. Okay, so this is my first time putting together the trip board. It looks pretty straightforward, so let's see if it's just that easy. So I'm gonna take these pins out here. And it looks like it just slides in. Ooh, mosquitoes. slides in pretty easily and these guys just go back in lock it in like that ta-da super easy all right next step is putting on the pads and straps pretty straightforward so we won't bore you with that so the fins for this board are different than the regular fly surfer fins they're actually these fire fins so the way that it works is you screw in this bottom part, which is actually kind of a, a hassle, I'm not gonna lie. And then after that's screwed in, you click these in. But we're still working on getting these screwed in. Okay. Those clip in very easily, thankfully. <laughs> it's in. Let's hope they stay. All right, so we just came in from our first session using the trip board and it was great. However, we are now missing four things. <laughs> we lost every single one of our snap on fins and that's because we were kiting in a very shallow spot. Yuri was out first and he went downwind and there was a lot of very shallow areas. So he thinks he lost most of the fins there. By the time he came back to give me the board, there was just one fin left and I managed to lose that one. So. Yeah, um, obviously, if you were planning to use the trip board, we would recommend using, um, not using these fins if you're going to be in a shallow spot. Um, so it is hard to give you our first impressions, given that we were riding pretty much finless. Um, moving forward, we will be using the fins from our Radical 6 board for the rest of this review. So I just finished a full day of kiting with the Fly Surfer Trip board. And overall, I am impressed. I quite like this board. It's very much comparable to my regular twin tip board, which is a Fly Surfer Radical 6. I will say my Radical 6 has slightly better upwind, which was noticeable today. It was a little bit light. Um, we were on 13 meter Sonic, um, but this board, it was fine. I did all my usual tricks and I had no issue. I will say it is quite stiff. I think both Yuri and I were expecting maybe a little bit of instability in the middle of the board. Maybe we would notice that it's a split board, but if you blindfolded me and told me this was a regular non-split board, I would believe you. Obviously the biggest benefit of this board is the fact that it is a split board and it does break in two so that you can pack it quite easily. If you're flying to a kite destination, that comes in handy as you don't have to check oversized baggage. Now obviously there is a price tag associated with convenience, um, but if you are limited on the amount of luggage you can bring, it definitely is worth it in my opinion. Um, overall, the board is quite versatile. I would say it's a pretty good free ride board, so it can handle a variety of different conditions. One unexpected bonus of the board was the bag that it came with. As you can see, it's pretty nice and it's also very spacious. 
So for us, when we were expecting to go on the plane, we were able to pack up the board, accessories, two kites, two harnesses, and two wetsuits. Alright guys, that concludes our review of the Flysurfer trip board. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever considered a split board and what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.